Hey guys, this is the Prince of Macedon, and I'm doing a commentary video for Empire's Total War. This is my very first online battle. Well, as a one versus one. This is a USA versus Maratha battle. I'm in command of the USA, that's my real country. And my opponent is the Prodigy in command of the Maratha. Alright, so my opponent's going for a cavalry charge. Hit cavalry up here on the very right, five squadrons of cavalry. And he's charging my guys in the forest here, so let's see how my guys do against this uh, cavalry smash. Oh, look at this. Fight in the forest here. This is the opening of the battle. So my guys are... My guys are fighting pretty well, I think, for considering that they're light infantry. And I've got cavalry coming up to support. You can see him right here. Charging from the back. There you go. Look at that. That's so sweet. And um, I got more cavalry coming in. And his guys are starting to route here. So looks like I'm going to win this fight in the forest. Look, look at those hats on my, on my light infantry. They look like uh, bomber caps. Like from World War II. So yeah, anyways, I, I routed his cavalry assault there. So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to recall my cavalry though, so that they don't run into a range of his uh, infantry up here. Alright, so, I'm um, doing pretty well so far, but uh, he went in for a, uh, a move here, like, his guys stopped routing at the right moment, and so now they're attacking my, my, my troops in the center, and my guys are out of uh, melee mode, so they're trying to beat them with their barrels here. Alright, what else is going on here? Yeah, I don't know what map this is, but it's, it's pretty sweet looking, it's pretty flat. I mean, there's a big hill on the very left there. But it looks like most of the fighting is going to be over here on, on the flat piece of ground. Alright, so my artillery is going to be firing at him. Here, they're, they're starting to load their artillery piece here. But let, let's give it to them now. Bam! So, seeing the power of my artillery, my opponent's going to advance with these guys. He has a stronger wing here. And, but he only sees that I only have uh, two uh, light infantry protecting them. These are Minutemen. But he doesn't take into account that I have troops hidden in the forest here. So we'll see what happens when we get to that phase of the combat. Now I'm, pushi I'm pushing up my uh, my main infantry line. And this is what Hollywood movies are made of. This is when the two armies march towards each other and then clash. So let's watch my guys uh, do their thing here. 18th century style. The only thing I don't like about this camera is that um, when you're zoom in, zoomed in like this, see how slow it goes? In the other Total War games, this would be going a lot faster, but if you zoom out, then you can be moving a lot faster like this. But if you go like this, then you can't. Alright, so I haven't progressed forward yet. I, mean, I did, but I haven't engaged his troops. But I've formed my um, this detachment here. I formed them into a column. And look at them creeping through this bush here. That is so awesome. Yeah, um, just to let you guys know, I did buy a new computer just to play this game. It is a uh, Systematics brand with 8 gigs of RAM in it, and then I installed a power supply unit with 500 watts, and I also put in a uh, GeForce 9800 GT video card. So that is why I'm able to play this game now. Okay, what's going on here? Got my infantry column here. I'm just gonna wait for my word before I advance them. I got my cavalry in the forest. Alright, over here, my opponent actually got a cavalry charge in, because I wasn't watching this part of the battle. And so I, I couldn't switch my guys to the melee mode, so um, he actually crashed into my artillery and took him out. I was kind of upset about that. So I got my guys trying to reload. They are actually outpowered by these um, this big this big blob of uh, musketeers, but pretty soon I'm going to uh, outmaneuver him here. Here I got guys in the forest here trying to fight him guerrilla style. It's kind of funny that we're fighting the Maritime in the USA because historically speaking, I'm pretty sure these guys never fought in a military engagement. Okay, so anyways, our infantry has advanced. Well, I'm advancing them now. Now, here comes the big fight. This is going to be so awesome. 
I'm really sorry that a lot of people here, like, they can't play this game because it's so graphically, uh, intensive. I think everybody should have the right to play such a game. This is probably one of the best games I've ever played in my life. It's, it's pretty balanced, too. Oh, look at that. These guys couldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my troops, so they are rowdy now. Those are just Sikh war. That's why they routed. Like, seriously, why bring a knife to a gunfight? Unless you're fighting guerrilla style. Alright, so let's reload. Oh yeah, bam, bam, bam. Let's see the effect of my American bullets on these guys. This is so awesome. You guys really have to try this game. Alright, he's going in for a charge with the Sikh warriors here. This is kind of like a World War II Japanese kamikaze charge. Like when they just draw their katana. This is so awesome. Alright, you can see in the background, I'm moving up my infantry column. So I'm turning this into a Napoleonic engagement. Got my column here. And I also have my cavalry coming in from the, from the forest. And what, when my opponent sees my cavalry coming out of the forest here, he kind of freaks out. And you're going to see what he does. He thinks I'm going to charge him immediately. Maybe I could have, but anyways, he's going to form into squares with his infantry. And that's going to help minimize the damage done by cavalry. Anyways, I got my column here attacking his, his 12-pounders. And they route, like, immediately. So sweet. But here's his, uh, his uh, infantry square. Let's see how long they last. Let's see the overhead, what's going on here. Uh-oh. I got him surrounded now. Let's see what happens when my guys fire from all sides. That is going to cremate his, uh, his infantry square. It's the same situation everywhere. All the guys are into squares. And um, there's some melee action going on here. I actually did a bayonet charge myself on his right wing. They seem kind of weak here, so I went right in for it. And I want to break these guys down so I can take out his 12-pounder on this side. And let's go look at the uh, fight over on this side. I repositioned my troops more into the forest here, and now they are really going on a guerrilla style. Man, did I mention this game is awesome? But his guys are caught in a crossfire here, it's not very good. So he's got starting to route, like, big time. So let's go back to the main engagement here. Yeah, this isn't my specialty, this game, this is like my first time playing it. But it's so, it's such a nice change, being able to use the US. And, um, because I'm from there, that's why I identify with him, of course. And of course, the British have the British troops that they can use. This game's really awesome. Alright, so he's going for a uh, melee charge here. And my guys are still in missile mode. So we'll, we'll let's watch some of this action here. It's kind of like the Patriot, except that there's no British people. Well, I guess you can count my guys. My guys are formerly British. Okay. I've got all kinds of column action going on back here. Look at this extreme column, look at that. America. Yeah. Okay, what is going on here? I got my cavalry engaging his uh, 12 pounders. This is my regiment horse. That is so awesome, look at that. Alright, so I seem to be winning the battle now. This is probably the final part of the fight. I'm going out of here in melee mode. You can watch us up close. My cavalry is going to come down. Is there something else going on? Let's see. I think that's it. Yep, that was a victory. I killed 1,152 of his guys, and I lost 690 men. The prodigy killed 590 of my men and he lost 